How much baseball is too much baseball? Jake Gaiden came out with some fascinating numbers yesterday, Chris, that you have broken down here. Interesting tidbit. The River Cats and Athletics have both released their 2025 schedules. There is not one game in which both teams will play at Sutter Health on the same day, which I don't think was too surprising. We talked about this before the show. That'd be insane. I mean, that means, come on now. This, is not, little, this is not the Little League World Series getting started. Shout out to Sacramento. They got close, but lost to Arizona. Somebody told me last week we had Michelle Dapper on, on as well. But this isn't a round-robin tournament in the summer. I mean, th- th- that's a little... That's a little too much now, okay? But they're not doing that. Instead, in the six months of the baseball season, there are only 29 days in which a game will not be played at Sutter Health Park. That's crazy. It is insane, Mm -hmm. actually. And um, I will say, I didn't have... um, I mean, as we were putting together the show, I I went through... What is it? I went through four months... Mm -hmm. Of, uh, of play to see how many days off we really are going to have here in Sacramento in terms of not having a baseball game played at Sutter Health Park. Jake mentions that there's 29 throughout the entire season, throughout the entire six months. Mm-hmm. It's really crazy. I mean, I, I really wanted to see even if that was the pace, and the pace that I, I clocked is, honestly, I mean, there, there must be a lot of those days later on in the season. I know um, the triple a season and the MLB season start at the same time, but I don't think, I think the triple a season ends a little bit earlier. And so that kind of gives them some days off if I had to guess, but I literally went schedule side by side. Uh, they are both available right now for, for public consumption, the river cats and the a schedule for next season in the month of May, they have three days in which there is not a baseball game played at Sutter health park, May 1st through the 4th. The River Cats are in town playing Reno. Then on the fifth, the very next day after the River Cats are done, the A's play the Seattle Mariners from the fifth through the seventh. They then get their first day of just having no events there on the eighth, only for the Yankees to go be in town from the ninth to the eleventh. And then on the eleventh, uh, there is I'm sorry, then on the twelfth, there is another day off. So that's the second day off in a month. And that is the eighth and the 12th. Then on the 13th, the river cats are back to play salt Lake city from the 13th, all the way through the 18th. There's then a dead. No, there's not a dead day on the 19th, the 19th through the 25th. The A's are in town to play the angels and then the Phillies. And then the day off is on the 26th. So in the entire month of may, there's only three days off of baseball in Sacramento. You keep going on June, same thing, three days. And it's a pretty similar schedule where the river cats leave the A's pick off a uh, pickup. There might be a small break in between series. And that's the only day off. You get three days off in the month of June, three days off in the month of, of may two days off. Technically, I guess not technically spiritually in the month of July. Plus you get four days off for the all-star break. And then in August, you know, we're, we're on vacation. You get four days off of baseball in the month of August. I had to stop after that because you kind of get the point. There will not be many days, especially during summer in which there will not be a baseball game played at Sutter health park. It's insane from the, I know they're doing turf, but even just from a field maintenance and I'd assume just stadium maintenance Mm -hmm. seems like it's going to be a a bit of a headache. And uh, you know, yeah, just from a, a logistic standard, I think that's, a lot of baseball for people to want to buy into. I know people yeah. say Sacramento is a baseball town, but are we that much of a baseball town? Yeah. I mean, you're talking about what 80, 80 or so games for the A specifically. Yeah. And then you have the river cats games. Part of me, Chris, if I'm trying to be optimistic here could say, Hey, well, you know, there's going to be some expensive, very similar to when you let, let's say the, let's say the, Kentucky Derby, right? A lot of people go to horse races the weekend of the Kentucky Derby because you're in the mood. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you're not going to fly. You're not going to go to the Kentucky no, Derby, sure not. but you're in the mood, yeah. right? Or the Masters are on. So you go, go to golf, Hagen right? Oaks or right. what, whatever it is, right? So I'm thinking, okay, well, some of these A's tickets are going to be expensive. Sure. Maybe the River Cats will benefit from that because, oh, the, the Yankees are in town 
oh, we didn't get to go to the Yankees tickets are a bit too expensive, but the River Cats are, are, are here too. So, you know, let's go to the River Cats game as well. Something like that. I'm thinking maybe that could help, but ultimately that's me trying to be optimistic. Yeah. I do think very similar to people talking about oversaturation when you joke about Drake. There's, it's going to be some oversaturation sure. when it comes to baseball. Yeah. And I think people might get burned out. And ultimately, of course, the River Cats are going to suffer more. Way, way more, more. Way more. Way more than the A's. But yeah, that's a lot of baseball, man. That's a lot of baseball. And, you know, it's just you're, every single day there's going to be something. And I think it's going to be cool. I think people will like it. But to some degree, but it's a lot. It, yeah, it's a lot. No, I just definitely. don't know the, if the app, if, and that's not a Sacramento thing. No, it's any, anyone's anywhere. appetite. Yeah. Anyone's appetite would be that strong for, for baseball. So I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be rough for the river cats. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I think so. I think, cause yeah, I mean, I know you were definitely trying to do devil's advocate, but in that situation you laid out, I would just wait for the next game, right? You would just wait, wait for the next the Tigers. Game. Yeah, exactly. The like, Tigers. you know, in theory, yeah, I'm sure from the river cat side, that is the pitch that they are saying It's mm -hmm. you'll be in the mood for baseball. Here's a cheaper way of watching. If you're a giants fan, you still get the opportunity to see your Camilo Duvall's and yeah. you're not going to be able to do that um, at that price point for the A's game. So, that still exists, but again, yeah, it just feels like the River Cats are going to get the short end of that stick. And this is kind of why I, I, or this is definitely, I shouldn't say this is why, but this is definitely a big contributor to why I feel like I think this, this Sacramento is a baseball town and, you know, they're going to sell out for two years. I think it's a bit overblown for the, yeah. And, and I just look, think the whole... that the fatigue is not, it's not even necessarily fatigue. It's just, it, you, once you've done it once you did it. And I think, you know, th there will be hardcore baseball fans who, you know, are just going to say, yeah, Yankees are in town, Cubs, whatever. Anyone's in town it makes sense to go out there and, and experience the ballpark. But I don't know if by the time it's this point in the season, if it's mid August and we've dealt with four games off for four months straight, or four days off for four months straight, I, I just kind of feel like everyone's going to get their fix in. Like, and I don't know how, much with the A's not doing, not labeling themselves as the Sacramento eight. Like, I don't know how much interest there's going to be to really be a, a fan, like an actual fan, not just somebody who is a, a fan of the sport of baseball or wants to go to a game who is actually going to drive the day to day attendance of these A's games. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to exist. Well, you make a good point because you have two sides here, right? You have the side that you just talked about, which is, W w the the use of the world the nates yes. of the world yeah. hey you know kind of into baseball two it's, a year maybe yes, three it's in sacramento maybe. let's go check it out you have that group yep so which is i would say it's probably the majority yes but there are enough people in sacramento that maybe it'll rotate yeah, for sure then you have the other side which is supposed to hold down the fort now let's not forget when it comes to the sellout thing i do think they'll be able to pull it off because yes. i mean they balloon numbers they balloon numbers you in give, big ballparks give it to this one kids at school yes, whatever they, boys they'll balloon those. all that stuff so you have your side of it and then you have the the actual a's fans who i i don't know we'd have to you know try to somehow do a poll on a's fans where some of them are still ticked off about the Oakland thing, even if they live in Sacramento. Yeah. So you're not even getting, you might get the, you're really more so trying to sell to the, to the Chris Watkins and Nate's of yes, the world. Honestly. And you're just praying that there are enough A's fans that love the team enough that they're still going to come to Sacramento. Ain't nobody in the Bay going to no, come to Sacramento. No, no. So it's specifically no. how many Sacramento A's Oakland fans, A's yeah, fans yeah. Yes. that aren't ticked off enough at John Fisher or love their team more yeah. than how much they're ticked off at John Fisher are going to go to see what is currently now a yeah. losing team. Yeah. Let's, let's also add that. That's they're, a big factor. And, right? and they're yeah. exciting. Yeah. And but even if they'll be better next hundred, season, yeah. that's not really getting it. So done. It, it is, I think they are lucky that it'll be an intimate setting and yes. there's not that many seats to fill for the, yeah. for the, uh, the optics of it. And mm -hmm. to say that this place sold out, but on a day to day. Yeah. I mean, I feel like there might be enough Chris's and Nate's to, to get around the first couple years. Yeah. But I, I think a couple months. I don't yeah, think years. I have I'm very fascinated yeah. by all this. You know what's interesting, Chris, because they're not connected, and obviously the River Cats used to be connected to the A's. Even though they're not connected now, is there any type of hey, since we're the Giants and we hooked you up, and and really they might lose they, they might lose money this way, but again, it's about optics. Do you think there will be any collabs? 
buy a ticket to the A's for the more expensive tickets yeah. and you get a ticket to mm. any of these River Cats games right. that you want to go to. That would be Just a to really, keep butts it'd be in the really seats. good. It would be, I mean, that's that's a great way of doing it. But yeah, I mean, you kind of you kind of bury the lead there. That's the Giants and the A's having to work together. And I know they had to work together a bit to get this even this far in the process, but you know, I mean, I guess it makes sense for the Giants, but it, you, they probably also would want to collect some of that money. I mean, that, that would be the part of it that, you know, John Fisher is definitely trying to collect what he can from this situation. Right. Maybe. I mean, it, how it many would backs are going to get scratched yeah. here? We, okay. We yeah. scratched your back. The has got to get his back. Exactly. Scratched, right? The Giants are like free, free rent. Well, we're scratching your back to, to have you in yes, here in the first place. Right? But now I, you have to scratch our back. Back. <laughs> you know, the 279, Chris, one thing. Chris is forgetting Yankee fans will come from yeah. NY to sack. Uh, no one, no one from any other team has been flying into Oakland for at least the last four years. There's going to be plenty of fans at every Sacramento A's game. And I'm a Giants fan, but I'll be taking my boys to see the historical games. You Giants, will. Yankees, Sox, Dodgers, Sacramento A's are going to do, do so well here. So, I mean, the only thing I would give you two seven, nine is if very similar. And I did something last week about, uh, and we can talk about this with Nate as well. Niners fans going to Rams training camp. Sure. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, so, talk about yeah so I'm just thinking here, are you saying the one thing Chris we're getting fans will come to NY. No one from any other team has been flying into. Oak. So I, I don't know if that's true though, because I don't know from the two seven, nine from New York, maybe no. there'll be a handful of people just to again, say like, Hey, I love baseball. This is a very unique, intimate ballpark. No, but, but think about it like this. Not if you lot, have though. kids or a family, the only way you're going to sell me on that two seven, nine is if you're saying that they're going to go. And, and I'm not trying to, make it a Bay area thing versus Sacramento, but Hey, we're in Northern California. We flew across the country or we let, let's say anywhere from the West. You live in yeah. Colorado. You're a Yankee fan. Yankee fans that don't live in California. Okay. If you're going to Sacramento to watch a game, yeah. that's not the only thing you're doing. I wouldn't think so. the fact that you're not calling it the Sacramento A's. I don't know. And when you're bringing up the quote unquote historic games, where is this going to fall in history? If, if I'm flying my kids out yeah. and I'm spending that money, we're going to do the Golden Gate Bridge. We're going to do Alcatraz. We're going to go to the state capitol. Yep. Maybe you could convince me on that. But I don't know how many people are going to do that, Come just especially now, just Chris, right. honestly, especially now with interleague play yeah. where the, Gi the, the Yankees, they go to the Giants. Mm -hmm. So you're a Yankee fan. Who would you rather go see? The, especially because the price ain't going to be that different yeah. because it's intimate. Yeah, no, and I mean, I also acknowledge, like, obviously, fans of other teams are going to go to the games. I yeah. was never not acknowledging that. I mean, that yeah, that might be enough to make it look appearance-wise like it'll be good, but I just don't think the local interest, which is the thing, like, this is the Vegas argument, is that there's not a lot of, there's not, I mean, to a lesser extent, I think, but there's not enough local interest in the actual team that is owned by the, or I guess not in this case, owned by right. the city, but that is currently staying in the city Yes, I know Dodger fans are going to show up. I know Yankee fans. I know Cubs fans. I know Giants fans are going to fill those things up, especially on weekend games. But what about – and not that anybody really does it because it is a baseball-wide problem that they've swept under the rug. But and that's a great how about point the Rockies too. on a Wednesday? That's a great point, too. This isn't even just a Sacramento it's not. No, it's not. Or, or Oakland A's thing. The Oakland A's have had the worst attendance. Yes. But you you fire up Sports Center and you watch those highlights. It's empty. Yeah, you it, a lot of these places. Braves, are, Dodgers, even it'll be the empty. Tigers, the yeah, Royals. Right. Who else, Chris? The Tigers, the Royals, White Sox, the White, the White, yeah, geez, the White even, Sox. I mean, what are the Cleveland Guardians going to draw here? What are the Minnesota Twins going to draw here? And and here's the thing: nine one six. So now they're kind of conflicting, right? Dodger fans have been taking over Oakland for years. Uh, yeah, but yes. again, I I I am more I on the no side of the 916. I, I am yeah. more on the side of the 916 saying Dodger fan cuz there are a lot of local yes. Dodger fans as well Tons versus of local Yankee Dodger. fans flying yes. from New York to Sacramento. There's also probably a lot of Yankee fans in town. I mean, we know yeah. two of them. Jason Ross and Frankie Cardicelli They'll will be, be there. at those games. They'll be there. Guarantee they will be They only play them here yes. once a year. Yes. And by the way, I looked at the schedule. They don't even play the Dodgers at home next season. Did That's you know right. that? No, uh, yes. They I play think we talked in, about that last in, week. In Los Angeles. In Los Angeles. Coming up next, 